that's him. That is Saber. Just so you can understand the scale of this. I'd actually really appreciate it if we can get another one of these made. Good morning and happy Tuesday as you're watching this. Today's Monday for me. Uh, the podcast is getting extremely, extremely, extremely good reviews. Um, you know, Rick Fox has a very, very interesting story. He has he's been in a he's in a very, very uh, peculiar situation. Um, uh, as, as I mentioned in the podcast, my my situation is nowhere near as bad as his. Uh, actually, it's not even in the same universe um, where, you know, people who were, in, you know, put in charge of a baby didn't take care of the baby the way the baby was supposed to be taken care of. Now, that's not to say that... I don't want to... Where are them? No, I don't want to spend um, the rest of this vlog, right? and I know that I'm a little bit off-center here. Let me see if I can fix it somehow. Well, that just doesn't work. All right, as I was saying, um, I'm not gonna continue to go down this line where I continue to talk about shit that happened in the past, but it relates, in, in this specific instance, uh, it, it makes sense for me to talk about it since we just did a podcast where he goes through a, um, a, a similar situation from, um, from his perspective on his organization and the way that, you know, the partners that he brought on and how he thought, long story short, it didn't happen the way that it should have happened, and and, and that's the that's the truth for not just this esport, but a lot of esports. I don't think that there's a single major esports organization owner that owns majority of of that. People with money don't come in and you know put in that much and not own majority. There's no upside for them. They have all the risk. Um, not a single one. Okay. Uh, anyway, so. His, his story is super, 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 super interesting because it deals with, with racism, it deals with the business of, I'm sorry, the sport of business. It's, it's a super interesting podcast and it comes with, with a very interesting take on business because, you know, he was an athlete turned businessman. He was an athlete turned actor turned businessman. He was a multifaceted uh, dude that was put in a situation where he had to become a businessman. Sort of like me. I, uh, I didn't go to CEO college uh, to, to do what I did. Uh, thank you to uh, Mystery Tackle Box for sending me new, new sw Oh, wait a minute. Look at this sticker. Look at that. Catch Co. Shout out to my, bro shout out to my brother, Ross Gordon, over there. Uh, anyway, we have uh, Ned Riggs. Ooh. I'm using this. It's like a hula popper, but it's arbogast. Anyways, fishing stuff. I know that you guys, that some of you do like it. Ooh, froggies. I might as well just show you guys everything. A little cross, a little crank. Anyway, um, so yeah, if, if you guys haven't watched it, I do suggest that you guys go check it out because it's a very, very interesting conversation and it's a different take on his situation, you can compare that to sort of the situation in the world. Again, nowhere near, nowhere near the the bad shit that he's going through that I go through with my group. My group was not a, in any way, shape, or form, malicious in, in any sort of way. While his, they're trying to pin the failure of, of Echo Fox on him. And that, to me, is a tragedy because, I don't know, I guess I feel a little bit more more close, uh, closely related to that than than, uh, than than most because I went through it. Roger, if you're watching, the thing finally came in. Uh, got a lot of stuff, man. I'm psyched. What's in here? Ooh, you know what this is? This is the the esports industry awards um, finalist coin. Um, it's right here. It's freaking awesome. And it comes with a letter that says finalist. I won't. Le I won't read it on on, on screen, um, you know, because best spoke post. Last time that they sent me something. Now, best best spoke post is a is a sponsor of the podcast or sponsor of the podcast one episode. Uh, it, it's more so sponsorships. 
I guess I'm gonna have to do like a little breakdown. There, there's there's uh there's activations, there's sponsorships, and then there is brown awareness initiative. I don't even know. There's just so many. So the, these guys, Best Book Post, sponsor the podcast for uh, for I believe four episodes now. Yes, I do three, uh, four episodes, and and and. You know, it's 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 a different sponsor of the podcast every single time. It depends on who's who's uh, who's doing what. But this time around, I got an incredible kit to make some old fashions, some old fashions, and uh, well, not just old fashions, but other drinks as well, as you guys will see here shortly. Um, got this, got the smoke, and by the smoke I mean got the cork. Put that back on there, as you guys can see here. I guess uh, you draw, I don't even know. I gotta read the instructions how everything's done. And of course we have the uh, the cups that they go in. And uh, I have, uh, right here. Oh shit, look at that. It's, it's, uh, okay, let me, let me put this back here because it's dangerous, it's glass. I gotta take it to, we have a bar on, on the scoreboard ventures side. Um, that on the other side, I don't know, you guys have seen the other side, I, and I don't know if I've told you the story about my friends on the other side, uh, but I will. Uh, they've been actually instrumental in, in, in everything that, I've, that I got going on in, in, uh, in my business life at the moment, uh, not including, um, you know, like some of the stuff that had already been, been established, but they've been incredible advisors to me. Anyway, uh, so thank you, Best Book Post. Uh, they sponsored me, but I wasn't supposed to do, anyway. Thank you so much. I, I appreciate you guys supporting the podcast. And if I can do, you know, this extra promotion on the on the vlog, then I do that. Uh, I will do that gladly because you know we su we support each other. All right, we have a all right, we have a box. Doesn't say from oh Puma. So Puma sponsored um, or promoted a product on our launch on uh, on. Ambos's channel, so I of course had to support my brother, the little broski, and bought myself some Pumas. They're not bad. They're not bad. I don't know. I don't know if you guys like these or not, but uh, you know when they when they sponsored him immediately, I went to the link that he that he clicked out and you know bought a pair. So very affordable, 100, 120 bucks. Uh, last but not least, I have a, I have an idea of what this is, and it is. It's a. Uh, I guess I gotta show you. So there is this one graffiti writer that painted some painted the the LA River in the 90s. It was such a massive piece that I believe it was two metro cars or two metro station uh, trains. So picture passenger trains this big, right? It was twice the size of that. Maddie put a picture up uh, so you guys can see how big this was. Anyway, since it was on an, on an incline, the, because it's the river and it's it sort of goes into a, a, a river form, uh, it destroyed his knees because it took him over a year to paint it. And he used spray paint and, and regular uh, house paint, but it was such a masterpiece that, that it's just, it, it's, it's like one of the most legendary pieces of art that graffiti has ever seen, probably art has ever seen. Um, but it, it, it really sort of changed the game a little bit because when they saw that, you know, nothing is too big, then everybody, everybody in, in, uh, in graffiti started to figure out uh, how to do that. And I'm not saying that he put it on the map to that scale because, you know, end-to-ends and whole cars were already being done, but this was on, a, on on such a massive scale, and it was illegal as well. So every single night, he would go there, you know, in, uh, under under the shroud of night and darkness and, and got to work, which is fucking incredible because it's such a beautiful piece, as you guys are. Actually, what the fuck am I, I'm about to show you what it looks like. You don't even, Matt, you don't even have to, I know that you already looked for the thing, but anyway, so he, he, uh, he created some prints, and I am, uh, I like to consider myself a graffiti art collector. Uh, especially now that I can afford it, and if I can support my good old fellow graffiti writers, then I do. It's very, very well packaged. It comes in this massive, massive bazooka-like uh, uh, tube, car cardboard tube. Um, let me figure out what the best way to to get this off is. I gotta be super careful because they, you know, this guy, to me, he's a fucking legend. 
I know to a lot of graffiti writers, it's a fucking legend. And anybody who disagrees is a fucking liar. Look at the massive, massive piece, sorry. And he sent, sent a sticker, two stickers. Oh, I don't know if I should put this on the fridge or if I should put this on my sticker collection at home. I'm taking it to the collection at home, 100%. Um, let, me, let me try to open this up so I can show you a better picture. All right, that's him. That is Saber. Just so you can understand the scale of this. Now understand that this was done at night. Look at this Amtrak, okay? It is three times the size of this Amtrak, and uh, uh, one, two, three, four times as long as that. But look at it. Look at the amazing detail that he went and did in the middle of the night for a year straight. And as you see here, it's on a divot. So a couple of years ago, we were with Astro Gaming, as you guys know, they were original sponsors for, uh, for our headset sponsors. Um, they did this sort of documentary. It never saw the light of day, mind you. It, it, it never saw the light of day. But what they did is they hired uh, the seventh letter, also known as MSK, or MSK, who has this brand called the seventh letter. Anyway, it doesn't matter. But they painted the faceplates of, uh, of the headset, and I got to interview every single one of those graffiti writers. Now, you have to understand that I have been a big fan of graffiti and the graffiti culture and graffiti art for as long as I can remember. I think I was 13 years old the first time, well, 14, yeah, 13 years old. I was in eighth grade the first time that I drew my name in graffiti form. And uh, and for me to have the opportunity to, to interview these legends, and I'm talking about legends, like I have the utmost respect for these people. Uh, for me to get to interview them and meet them was like uh, 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 the, the wildest thing for me. It was insanity. So uh, unfortunately, never saw the light of day. Uh, I think uh, my brother Oz Enrique still has uh, some of the footage, uh, some of the audio and some of that. Maybe we can bring it you know, forward and maybe we can show you guys some stuff, but uh, I got to meet that guy. I got to meet the guy, Saber, the guy that, that, that did that legendary piece. And for me, that was so fucking wild because that is just a le top five most legendary pieces ever, if not the most legendary piece ever. So uh, anyway, let's get, uh, let's get the day started. Pardon the vlog being so heavy footed, I guess, in the, in the beginning with unboxings, um, but I, I, I can't tell you enough how important it is for you guys. If you guys are into the business of esports or, uh, or business in general, entrepreneurship in general, you guys should listen to the, to the podcast uh, that I did with Rick Fox because it's full of passion, it's full of, it's, it's full of stuff. It's really good, check it out. I actually came, uh, came home super early. I was supposed to land today at four o'clock, uh, but I decided to come here earlier because um, I'm going on a fishing trip. As soon as I get back, I want to spend some time with Liv and Jude. Not that I won't have time to spend with them like uh, a little bit when, when I get back, but uh, spending a week away from them and the dogs is, and Minecraft. It's a little bit tough. Um, made a couple of additions to the to the thing. Uh, this is the Hex TV 100,000. Excuse me. Boom. Hex TV 100,000 subscribers. That channel. <laughs> that channel. Hold on. Mm. That channel, believe it or not, is popping. I have a video up there that got 357,000 views. That's insane. I'm uploading the Minecraft series that I'm doing with Jack, Nate, Shot, and uh, Encourage. Um, I gotta set up, what time is it, what time is it? I got time, I got time, I got time, I got time. I got a schedule upload, I'll be right back. Oh my God, back at home and I have hat hair, as you guys can see there. Um, I haven't got a haircut, I was supposed to get a haircut in LA, but the guy that was usually cuts my hair was completely and utterly booked, therefore couldn't cut my hair. Anyway, I'm home now. Where are the boys? Panchote! Hello! Hello, big boy! Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Whoa, 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 whoa. There they go. 
Anyway, I'm gonna end the vlog right here, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. If you guys enjoyed the video, please remember to leave without leaving a like. Having said that, boys and girls, and with that said, I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow as usual, and as per usual at the same damn time.